Good evening everybody, this is Nell Karoko again. Apology for my voice because I still have cough and fever right now. But I don't have COVID, don't worry. <laughs> okay, so I have a question today. I received a question from a friend and he asked me if it's possible to create a basement in Dialax Evo. And I answered yes, of course, definitely. You can create a basement in Dialax Evo and it's very easy. For example, um, like this one i have a villa and if you go inside in this gate let's go inside yes i have a driveway yes and it goes directly to the basement yeah but i did not do the basement and if you go to the level of the floors i have roof deck oops that is the roof deck fourth floor you can see i have fourth floor third floor and then second floor and also a basement which is uh, yeah, it's not properly done. Okay, so it's really possible. And how you will do that is very easy because right now you can see. Um, okay, go to the site tab and go to open your uh, coordinate system. This is the usual level zero or the ground plane of your Dialax Evo. And if you go here, let's turn it off. Yeah, this is the usual ground zero. This is the one the road area or the paddock maybe or it depends on the ground zero of your project and you see that i made this uh, part a little thicker yeah this side because i yes i created a basement because of that and if you also want to double check if it's really possible go and see in the dialax evo support customer care you go there select and in the knowledge base here in this one you can see that here how can uh how can we help how to construct a basement and dialax itself said that yes it's possible to create a basement because you can move the room into a negative level like this one maybe negative three or negative four it depends on the level of your basement and then you can create a separate room for that and it's really 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 cool I also have one, this one is a very old project and you see again I have a driveway going to the basement and if you go here, yes, I have a basement. Unfortunately, I'm working with the facade lighting so I did not do the basement lighting design. And another one, um, yes, say for example this one, this is a, a bill again and for example I want to put this uh, ground level as my basement. So I'll just go to the site tab. Okay, let's just make uh, level two, level two as duplicate first. Let's go to the construction construction tab. Okay, so let's just duplicate the level two. Copy everything. It's okay. Okay, duplicate. And then now we have three stories. And what I'm going to do is I will make the level one as the basement and the ground floor as the basement and this one as ground floor so this will be the great the basement i will make this one as a basement and this one is the ground floor and this is the second floor so what i'm going to do is just go to the elevation view you should be in the construction tab and you should be here at the tree tab select the building right click and then move and then you can move your whole building like this one. Oh, look at that i should have moved this one also okay it's not coming together okay and then now you have your oh, this is crazy you know you have your um basement okay let's just say it's okay and if you see this is now the basement look at that one and if you want to cover your um basement with a with the ground you can increase the thickness of the floor because this one right now is only um point one and you can make it say 0 0.3 or 0 0.4 or 3 meters sorry and then you need to make it negative 3 meters so it will become thick so it's now covered and if you go and select the story number one you can still see it but now it's inside uh, <laughs> inside this um, soil and for example you want to put a ramp uh, from inside uh i uh, sorry you want to put a ramp from the front of your house going to the basement yes you can use a cut out tool 
and then place it there for example that is the entrance and then you can limit the <clears throat> you can limit the thickness of your cutout into say because i made it point uh, three meters so i can just make it is a uh, 2.9 say for that because i have a space for the ground soil and there you go now i have my ramp going to the basement and if i want to put a ramp it's simply go to the object tab and select this um ramp or wedge and then put it there right click but you have to make sure that you know the uh, the angle of inclination of the ramp yes because yeah there is a proper ratio and proportion for the angle of inclination of the ramp so there you go now you have your ramp going to the basement and of course make sure it's the same thickness go to the elevation view and then uh, scale and then make it a little thicker perfect let's just imagine this is the perfect inclination and now you have your ramp going to the basement there you go so yes you can have a basement all right so see you again on the next video and if you want to learn more now i am about to publish the advanced user for Dallas evo go and check now in udemy.com i think it's, it's published now so i hope uh, you will enroll on this uh, course. Thank you and see you again on the next video. Bye!